So today in the booth with us, we got Arno Demon, man. How you feeling, G? I'm feeling lovely. Appreciate you for coming through, bro. Appreciate you for having me. Regular shit, my boy. So where are you from for the people who don't know? Sacramento, California. Okay, you been here your whole life? Fuck no, nah, I've been bouncing around my whole life, honestly. Mm. So how was life growing up for you then? Hard to keep friends, honestly. Mm. I've been moving around so much. So keeping in touch with people is like never in my best interest. Right. You just moved around so often it just was yeah. hectic, huh? Yeah. So it's like fuck it. Friends don't matter. You just thugging. Yeah. So what kind of music <coughs> did you used to growing up and shit? Mm, hella random shit, like, a bunch of shit my uncle would listen to, because he would influence me a lot, so, like, Mac Dre, E-40, a little bit. Okay, yo, a little yo, bit. I'll put you on the shit. That's tight. What do you think the music he was listening to? Mm, it was pretty tight. I thought it was cool, but my personal interest was, like, Rock and shit, honestly. Okay, he was fucking with like heavy metal and shit, or what? No, nah, not nah, like no heavy <laughs> metal. Screamos and yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand those. Those ones get on my nerves. God, you was doing some wild shit. What you what you was listening to, bro? What kind of rock? I definitely wasn't expecting that. Uh, like I hate everything about you by Three Days Grace. Wow, that was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, okay, I was just like. I like sad music, honestly. Mm. So, anything I can relate to. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. That's tight, bro. So, when did you, uh, when did you start making music and shit? Like, my sophomore year of high school. Mm. What got you into doing that? I just really like music. I liked it a lot. I said, fuck it. Everybody listening to other people's songs. Why not people listen to my shit, too? Facts, bro. Straight up. Uh, especially if you could drop some hard shit like you be doing, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Everybody else, uh, it's really like, they got some hard shit out there, but they definitely got some weak ass shit everybody be listening to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I should really be blowing my mind about certain artists, bro, because they be so hard and motherfuckers don't even be tuned in. And it's like, damn, bro. But you over here listening to this weak ass, baby voice ass nigga, bro? Yeah. That shit weird to me, but... That's that type of shit, you know, whatever people like, I guess. I guess. So what was your rap name before Arno Demon? <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. I need to it was Jew Banger. Okay. But people would say Jew Bonga. I'm like, Jew what the bonga. fuck, nigga? That's because niggas are smoking hella bongs or what? I don't know. It was B-A-N-G-A. I don't know how people get bonga. Yeah. Like, it's Jew Banger, yeah. nigga. But then I see other people who had Jew Bang, and I was like, nah, that's not authentic. That. Yeah. You gotta ask straight up. You gotta change that shit, huh? Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I seen somebody else had that name. I was like, fuck that. What made you change it into the R&O Demon? Because me and my brother Weto, he really came up with R&O all himself. I was just like, bitch, I better be on. Right I've been rocking with you damn near my whole life. Okay. So it's like, that's how it started, honestly. Not too many things. It's just really just me and him since then. That's tight. <coughs> yeah. What was you going to say? Oh. And then the demon comes from, because I done survived through hell so much, but it's just mm. like, fuck it. Only demons survive through hell that much. That's heavy. You think they got some good music in hell? <clears throat> hmm? You think they got good music in hell? They got slaps in <laughs> hell. <laughs> I bet they got slaps in them, motherfucker. They probably do got some bangers on my show. They probably got that heavy metal shit in them, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas definitely got there screaming, bro, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> they should be hurting. It is 24-7. That's just like elevator music to them, bro. Fuck. Can you play any live instruments? Fuck no. You was never in band or nothing? <coughs> Fuck no. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, uh, <coughs> elementary, I learned how to play the recorder. 
shit. A little flute. Yeah, yeah. A little regular you know, shit. Hot cross buns and shit. You feel know oh, me? Oh, God. <laughs> That's tight. That's about it. <clears throat> you ain't never thought about, like, uh, picking up nothing? I always thought about it, but... Playing the piano or some wild shit? I don't really have no money to go buy none of that, so it's like, the fuck I'm gonna go learn something I can't even buy. I get it, I get it. That's straight up, though, bro. A lot of people waste a lot of money on some shit they can't even afford. Exactly. That shit is wild. Uh, being in sack, like, damn near your whole life, how you feel about the Sacramento music scene? I fuck with it. There's a lot of people that's hella cool. A lot of people that fuck with each other actually show love and don't be in it for themselves. Right. But there's a lot of people that just be fucking acting hella boozy and like they're better than people. Yeah, that shit is kind of weird, bro. Like, motherfuckers. Not even kind of weird. That shit's hella weird. Like, yeah, because you in the same fucking city as me, bro. Bro. It's not like you doing big things, living in L.A. and all that bullshit. Like, can be. You know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> Instagram look nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. People make Instagram look nice as fuck, bro. Exactly. That shit, that's that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? I just, I feel like the Sacramento music scene definitely uh, is evolving more. For sure, for sure. Like, that shit yeah. is starting to turn into a whole different thing at this point. Really starting to get a light. I love it, though. Oh, God, me too, bro. Because before it wasn't like this. Like, nobody knew Sacramento music scene. Like, they didn't, they didn't even think we had one. Yeah. We damn near didn't, honestly. Like, for a cool little minute, it wasn't really uh, it wasn't really nothing coming out of the sack like that. But now it's really starting to boom. That shit's crazy to me. Oh God, I think that shit's dope as fuck. Straight up, bro. Cause even people that aren't even really tight, they be getting views. That type of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, fuck it. That type of shit, bro. Straight up though. Uh, tell me how your uh, vision for your future has changed over the years. It changes when I got different shit to deal with. Mm. It's like different hurdles, different hoops I got to jump through. Right. So it's like, I'm never really ready for anything. That's why I try to push everything so last minute so I could, so I could just get it done and over with before I have to deal with some old shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. That's heavy, bro. I feel that shit, though. Like, who inspires you the most to make music? Mm. <clears throat> it would have to be my uncle, my uncle Wayne. Because mm. all throughout my childhood, he'll be making beats, and then he'll come show my uncle, and then I'll just hear him. I'm like, damn, that motherfucker's tight. That motherfucker's wet as fuck. And then I hear him all freestyling, and I'll be hearing him rap. It just made me want to rap ever since I was a kid. Mm. He, he really influenced you to do this shit. That's tight, bro. Does he ever, has he ever like made a song or a video or any of that shit? He would just freestyle. He would um, he would make songs and shit. He would like <coughs> actually make some clean ass songs, but he wouldn't ever go record them or mm. go drop them or actually shoot a video for them. The only uncle that ever really did that is my uncle Joe. The one that came and did the uh, shoot over here. Fire. That's tight. So you always had like some type of uh, music influence going on in your life. Hmm. Hell how, yeah. How'd that, like, uh, how'd that play out for you, you know what I'm saying? Like being a rapper now and shit. Like how'd that affect you? I'm grateful for it. Hmm. Straight up. Because I wouldn't be as clean as I am now if I didn't have a taste for it as a kid. Wouldn't have a hunger for it. Shout out to the people's for real. Hell yeah. Showing you how to do that shit. Hey, they ain't even show me, honestly. I mean, they'll fuck with me. Yeah, you're just soaking that shit in. Oh, I'll hear their flows and be like, hey, that motherfucker was wet. Mm -hmm. Come up with some shit similar to it, like with hella syllables in that motherfucker, and they'll be like, hey, I'm proud of you. And that would be like the best feeling ever. Mm -hmm. Them telling me, like, you're amazing me and you're talented. I'm like, damn. Y'all influence me. That's heavy, bro. That's what I feel like music really uh brings a lot to people, you know what I'm saying? 
Why do you feel like music is so important to the people? <clears throat> I feel like it's important to my people, honestly. Hmm. I be making music for my cousins and shit and my family because I feel like I influenced them to even go rap themselves. A couple of my cousins have songs out and shit, and they be fucking around, and they be asking me for a feature. Like, but I, since they're my cousins, I have that ability to just be like, nah, nigga, you need to go practice some more. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping. Yeah, tell them straight up. Tell them, tell them God, bro. <laughs> but they be practicing. Mm-hmm, got you. They amaze me, too. Mm. And I, I love that. And I love that I influence them. That's fire, bro. Real staple for the family. Yeah. yeah. And I love them when they text me and they'll hear one of my songs and be like, I felt that. And I love this one. And this is the dopest song ever. Mm. Like, You their favorite rapper? I would like to think so. <laughs> That's tight, bro. You got a favorite rapper? <clears throat> Not really. Mm. My favorite rapper would probably be like... Lil Wayne or J. Cole. Because they be... Lil Wayne be saying some slick shit sometimes. Right. Like, what the fuck you just say? That, mo- that shit was wet. Well, there's that. <laughs> uh, sorry, people. <laughs> Uh, you be listening to like uh, singing and shit, like singers and shit, R and B or not like singers? not like that. Mm. Be singing like I be listening to like sad singers, like Juice World type of shit. Okay, you ain't got no like a uh, favorite female singer. Fuck no. Nah. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> I don't really like listening to. Female that singing. slow shit or none of that? Hell no. Nah, my nigga said, hey, give me some hard rock. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you hard rock. Right. Give me them fucking headbangers, bro. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Uh, how would you best describe the music you make, bro? This is how I be feeling most of the time. Hmm. And people what's, be fucking with it. What's your creative process like? <coughs> <laughs> I just pick a beat, listen to that motherfucker like 20, 30 times, <clears throat> and then whatever comes to my head, <clears throat> I'll write down, and then if it don't make sense, I'll erase that whole shit and be like, you're stupid, hmm. <laughs> and then yeah, retry it, <laughs> yeah, be like, you got off topic, I'll just be talking to myself, be like, you got off topic, what are you doing? Talking reckless to yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get that shit in order? You feel like uh, smoking or drinking or anything affects your creative process in a certain way? Um, emotionally, yeah. Hmm. I'll be sounding angry as fuck on the track when I'm drunk. <sighs> but when I'm high, it's just like every other track, honestly. Hmm. I smoke all the time. Yeah, I just so don't drink good. all the time. Yeah, you feel like uh, it, makes, <clears throat> it makes the music a little better when you're drinking? Mmm... Sometimes, hmm. cause I be getting in that zone, but other times I just be like blitzed. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even what rap. The fuck is going on? Can't but, even remember what the fuck I wrote. Yeah, that's hella funny. Yeah, I, I can, I can imagine, bro. That type of shit. What about like uh, like shrooms or something? Nah, I wouldn't even try to rap on shrooms. Mm. Yeah, that shit probably leaking or something. <coughs> <laughs> I'll be tripping out. <coughs> Damn. I can only imagine, bro, like what that shit would be like. I can't I can't do shit on shrooms. You know what I'm saying? Like I can only imagine what the fuck hopping in the booth to talk some shit would be like. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably think the mic gets some weird shit. Yeah, I could get the punch on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Grim Reaper that starts sucking on it. Yeah. Nah, bruh. Nah. Yeah, that shit's wild. You done any shows lately? Shit, nah. You got any in in the works or what? Nah, I just been laying low, honestly. Okay. Trying to stay in the cuts. 
Mm. I'm not trying to do too much. What about some music you got on the way? Just shot some shit not that long ago. That shit's gonna come out a movie, bro. I promise you. Oh, yeah? That shit's gonna be so wet. You got some heat coming? Yeah. What's the song called? Stay Evil. Mm. When's that shit dropping? I have no idea. Okay. Honestly. Just it's gonna tuned. drop when it drops. Mm, just stay tuned. Uh, who would you like to collab with most in the city right now? <clears throat> My man Slack. Basically. Hmm. Okay. What about like famous person? Fuck. Um, I don't even know. Probably Childish Gambino. Okay. That'd be hard. I'd, that'd be a different, like, wow. I wasn't expecting that shit, bro. You be spitting some shit. Mm-hmm. That's Not crazy. That'd be a wild song, you two together. Have them do, like, a singing hook type of shit. Mm-hmm. Or some red bone type shit. <laughs> that'd be wild, bro. That'd be him. If you could open up a show for any artist, who would you pick? Um, Burner. Mm. You trying to get smoked out? I'm trying to burn with Burner. <laughs> yeah, you trying to get smoked out one good time. I feel that shit, bro. That shit would be tight. I'm not gonna only imagine who the fuck you be having on, like on tour with him and shit. Hell yeah. That would be a real experience. That would be clean as fuck, bro. If you could ask for anything, like the green room food wise, what would you pick? Mm. I don't even know. You gonna make them cash out or what? You gonna make them get some basic shit? They gonna have to go to Applebee's or some shit? <coughs> Probably get some basic shit. You gonna make them run a Taco Bell for chicken nuggies? Nah, make them run a jacket of box, get them, get them dollar two tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Slamming? You fucking, Slam. with the, you fucking with the Jack in the Box Taco Bell? I mean, the fucking tacos at Jack in the Box, bro? Oh, my, my, my. That's crazy. <laughs> Jack in the Box done had me at some bad times. Yeah, I mean, they plug in for show, but... Them motherfuckers is whooped, though, you feel me? Hell no, nah, them bitches. Yeah, they have your stomach. They have your stomach hurting. Five minutes right after you eat them bitches, boy. You be on the toilet. God, why did I do that? Blitz. <laughs> you gotta drink water. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good advice. <laughs> so you gonna make them go get hella Jack in the Box tacos, bro? That's crazy. Like a fifty Forget. piece or what? <coughs> Whatever the fuck they want. Cause like fifty cents a taco or some weird ass shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gonna make them catch up either way. <coughs> That'd be cool. <coughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> How you feel like your ear for music has changed over the years? Uh, I like, I like more Rod Wave type of shit, but not really Rod Wave. Mm. I don't like his fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's, like, what you got against Rod Wave, bro? Bro, everybody listening to him, his shit played out. Okay. Like, oh, I don't like, I don't like shit that's played out. Mm, yeah, that nigga too mainstream and shit. Basically, yeah. like, I used to slap SOB, but once everybody started listening to that shit, I ain't listening to it no more. Fuck out that the shit. window type of shit. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Everybody, I used to listen to DB, everybody started listening out the window. <laughs> well, what's one message you give to your fans? I love everybody who fuck with me. Because hmm. it's unexpected. I don't really expect nothing. Nobody really fuck with me like that. But people really be fucking with me. Straight up, bro. That is tight, bro. I be seeing, I be seeing the interaction with the folks, bro. That shit is dope. Oh, my God. It be crazy. Really be booming, bro. Yeah. Definitely uh, going upwards, you feel me? That type of shit. It's good to see that. I like to see artists prosper. 
feel me? That's what that's the move. That's what you're supposed to be doing, bro. And you really interact with your people well. Like you really handle that business. That shit's tight, bro. What would you be doing right now if it wasn't for your music career? Working. Still. Where, would, where would you be working at? Fucking. I don't even know, honestly. Some grocery outlet or some shit. Nah, I'd probably do some welding type of shit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you got make some bucks. Yeah, that type of shit. That's tight, bro. Welding's cool too. You can use that for anything. Mhm. Real trade work. Oh my god. How you feel like? How you feel like the internet has impacted the music industry? Everybody likes garbage. Mm. But fuck it. I guess. <laughs> it, it is what it is. <laughs> What's one thing you would change about it? But low pump would not be famous. <laughs> but uh, you don't fuck with the Gucci gang? Fuck no. <laughs> I don't even know how he got famous. Yeah, that nigga's a clown for sure, bro. But <laughs> that's the type of shit little white kids is running around listening to and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that mainstream audience. That shit is wild to think about. You gotta come out with Gucci Gang or something, bro. Fuck no, I can't even. <laughs> I don't even like repeating the same word twice yeah, for a rhyme most of the time. Wild, bro. I can't imagine like how the fuck. I don't know how that shit works, bro. Yeah, that that nigga head probably be hurting doing that shit all day. Fucking Gucci Gang. Gucci gang. So yeah. What's next for you, bro? Shit, they about to slap the ankle on me. Oh, I'm about yeah. to stay at the hood, probably work on some shit. You about to be in the cuts for a minute? Yeah, I'm probably making some beats. I'm probably fucking... Oh, you be making beats and shit too? Yeah, I be fucking around. I That's made hard. the Halloween beat. I oh yeah, that shit around. went crazy. Oh God, the Halloween shit went crazy, bro. Yeah, I was just fucking around with that one. That video went hard too. That was real good, like... You dragging your little brother and shit in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I was in here like, this nigga's wild. Hey. That motherfucker was a movie for sure, though. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, go check out that Halloween, people. That's a real hitter. Oh, God. I appreciate you for coming through, my boy. I appreciate you for having me. Shit, regular shit, G. I, I hope that ankle shit over quick, you feel me? Man, Get back me to uh, dropping these videos and shit like that. Uh. Yeah, I... I already know you about to come through with some hot shit, though. I'm trying to make you some more to, movies, bro. You about to sit down for a cool little minute, come with some bangers, you feel me? And then drop these videos wild. I'm already knowing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stay tuned, folks. Let the people know something, bro. Hey, bro, just tune in, bro. Watch, you gonna see Steak Evil come out soon, bro. That's a movie. Once I hop off this ankle, I'm about to come out with some of my movies soon, as I promise. Mm -hmm. Love everybody that fuck with me. What up, gang? All right, let's smoke this weed. Let me see a light. Trying to get a smoke day with bro. Yep.